Number 7. This is 1983 Lincoln sent with double die reverse. Graded in Mint State 68 read by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, this popular guide book variety shows impressive die doubling on the reverse legends and the lines of the Lincoln Memorial. A desirable pumpkin gold example that boasts exemplary preservation. The strike is full except on the STA in states. It was sold for $2,760. Number 6. Here is a rare error penny. 1984 Lincoln sent overstruck on a 1984 P. Roosevelt dime. So-called double denomination coin. An overstruck coin, also known as a double denomination error, is a coin that has been struck on top of another coin of a different denomination or type. The rarity of such an error lies in the fact that it is an extremely unusual occurrence. The U.S. Mint has strict quality control measures in place to prevent such errors from happening during the coin minting process. When a coin press strikes a planchet, blank piece of metal used to make coins, it's not supposed to strike another coin at the same time. In the case of your 1984 Lincoln cent, somehow it was struck over a Roosevelt dime, which is quite a remarkable mistake. It was sold for $3,290. Number 5. This is 1981 S Lincoln cent proof with type 1 design. Graded as PR70 deep cameo by PCGS. Golden orange center seed to sunset orange near the rims of this pristine, perfect key date, a modern rarity in the Lincoln Memorial series. Thick mint frost covers the devices on each side, creating great contrast against the reflective fields. Easiest way of distinguishing between Type 1 and Type 2 designs is closely inspecting the mint mark. Type 1 mint mark on the left is less clearly defined and lacks sharp serifs. The 1981S Type 2 mint mark on the right is not only more well clarified but is known for its bulbous serifs, which may be the easiest diagnostic to spot on this latter mint mark variation for 1981. This rare specimen was sold for $4,112.50. Number 4. Here is 1967 Lincoln Scent from Special Mint Set. So-called SMS Scent. Graded in Mint State 68 Cameo by PCGS. Special Mint Set production quality improved in 1967, the final year of issue, with most coins approaching the visual appeal of actual proofs. This Lincoln Scent representative displays profoundly deep mirroring in the fields, with softly frosted devices that deliver moderate cameo contrast. Blazing coppery orange color illuminates each side, and the preservation is seemingly perfect. It was sold for $5,581.25. Number 3. Here is 1982 bronze scent with small date design. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus read by PCGS. 1982 was the transitional year for the small scents, when the composition was changed from copper alloy to copper-plated zinc. Both mints issued small date and large date varieties. The obverse of this gem has rich violet toning over its bright orange luster, while the reverse is brilliant orange is struck. It ended up selling for $9,987.50. Number 2. Here is 1971 Lincoln scent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 read by PCGS. The date, liberty, and God are noticeably die doubled. The spread on the date, especially the 9 and 7, is much more significant than implied by the ill-chosen photo for the variety within the cherry picker's guide. A superlative example whose orange-red fields and devices are virtually devoid of carbon. It was sold for $10,350. Number 1. And the most valuable lot of this episode. 1919 D. Wheat Penny in MS67 Plus Red Condition. Comes with CAC confirmation. According to NGC, though an armistice was declared late in 1918, the superheated wartime economy rolled on into the following year. The Philadelphia Mint set a record for scent production in 1919 that was not exceeded until 1940 when another war loomed. This issue is common in all grades, and some of the finest early date Lincolns are 1919 P cents. Though the amazingly detailed obverse hub of 1916 had already lost of some of its finer features, well-struck examples of this issue from fresh dyes are still quite pleasing when measured against the grossly distorted images from the 1940s-60s. This highly elusive gem fetched a sum of $90,562.50 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this information helpful please consider subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to hit that like button. Take care.